हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संजय उडगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन टू द फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब वर्किंग ऑफ वेरियस फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स outline introduction to digital electronics in this we are going to discuss analog signals digital signals logic gates then question answer combinational circuit sequential circuit sr flip flop and finally references before going to this uh, flip flop we must have a knowledge of analog and the digital signal signal it's a time varying quantity that can carry information a signal is a function that conveys information about the behavior or attributes of some phenomenon analog signal is a continuous signal it is represented by a sine wave described by the amplitude period or frequency and the phase analog signal has no fixed range it is more prone to distortion here is the waveform of analog signal it's a sinusoidal alternating quantity uh, say it is having a maximum value plus 5 volt and negative maximum minus 5 volt it means that this analog signal will have a uh, values ranging from 0 to 5 volts in other in other words it will have a values for example 0.1 volt 0.2 volt 0.3 volts 4.99 volts and 5 volts okay so it's a example of a, a continuous signal this is a digital signal digital signal it's a discrete type of signal it is having only two values either 0 volt or 5 volt this is the square wave, square wave is the best example of a digital signal uh, it's having zero value zero volts which is called as logic zero and the five volts which is called as logic one some characteristics of digital signal it has a discrete value that carries information in binary form a digital signal is represented by square wave is described by bit rate and bit intervals it has a finite range that is between 0 and 1 digital signal is less prone to distortion it carries data in binary form that is 0 and 1 signals used for transmission in a computer so this is all about the digital signal so this is the differentiation between the analog and the digital signal analog signal as a, as we discussed it's a sinusoidal quantity it's a continuous signal whereas a digital signal it's a discrete type signal having uh, uh, values either 0 or 1 so digital signal can be represented by a stream of uh, bits in in terms of zeros and ones digital system digital system stores data in a discrete form that is in the digital form it is the opposite is an analog signal which stores the data in a continuous way digital system store the information in a binary way that is every bit of information cannot have a value other than 0 or 1 next after analog discussion of analog and digital signals we are going to discuss logic gates it is logic gate it's a basic building block of a digital circuit it is an idealized or physical device implementing a boolean function that is it performs a logical operation on one or more binary inputs and produces a signal binary output it is an electronic circuit having one or more than one input and only one output the relation between the input 
and the output is based on a certain logic so these are the symbols and the uh, output expression for the basic and the universal gate on the left hand side is the inverting buffer left hand top side it's a inverting buffer it's a not gate input is a output is the complement of the input that is a power the next below gate is the and gate it's also basic gate inputs a and b output is a dot b so the output of the a and gate is uh, y is equal to a dot b this is the boolean expression for the and gate the next basic gate is the or gate again same a and b inputs output is a plus b on the left hand side you will find left hand side top it's a nand gate the two uh, nand gate uh, it's a boolean expression is a dot b bar where it means that nand gate is a combination of and gate for and uh, followed by a not gate so and gate output is a b a dot b uh, after this we are giving it this input to uh, to a not gate so finally the nand gate will have output a dot b bar here uh, both the inputs of nand gates are uh, shorted so so it will have only one input a so the output of the first nand gate when the inputs two inputs are shorted the output will be a bar so by shorting the two inputs we can get the not gate okay uh, not gate using a nand gate the next below figure is having the first nand gate normal nand gate having a and b inputs which whose output is ab bar it is given to a inverter since a second gate nand gate it have its inputs are shorted so output is ab so in this with with the help of this circuit we got a and gate the third circuit is uh, having first and two input side uh, nand gates they are in the form of not gate so a will give uh, a bar b will give b bar a bar and b bar are given to third nand gate the output will be a plus b so in this way on the left hand side first top middle and the lower one these three circuits uh, uh, we have implemented basic gates using universal gates so this is the nand gate so uh, let us have a look at the truth table a truth table gives the uh, information uh, of the output uh, depending on the various input conditions so a and b are the inputs q is the output for 0 0 output is 1 and for 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so it's a uh, uh, for 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 it means that uh, 1 1 if the inputs are 1 1 output will be 0 for remaining uh, three combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 all the uh, output will be exercise assignment what will be will be the output of nand gate if both inputs are equal to one second question if both inputs are different that is one in one input is zero and our other is one these are the answers the output of a nand gate if both the inputs are equals to one the output will be zero second question if both inputs are different that is 0 1 1 0 okay its output will be 1 combinational circuit it's a time time independent logic which is implemented by boolean circuit where the output is a pure function of the present input only so this is the example of adder circuit having a b c as the inputs to or gate s is the summation so the uh, sum it will have a boolean expression a per a plus b plus c in so these are some characteristics combination circuit output is a uh, time independent it depends only on the level of, level present at the inputs so combination circuit don't use any memory uh, combination circuit can have a number of inputs and a number of outputs it's a, again time independent circuit sequential circuit is very important as far as flip flop is concerned so can you circuit use current input variables and the previous input variables so it uh, it requires a memory so as to store the present state so the next state will be dependent on the present state uh, and the uh, previous state external outputs so this is the sequential circuit 
हैविंग अ कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट विच इज टाइम इंडिपेंडेंट दिस कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट हैव अ एक्सटर्नल इनपुट शोन एट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टॉप एंड अनदर इनपुट इज द प्रीवियस इनपुट शोन बाय ग्रीन कलर दैट इज फ्रॉम मेमोरी मेमोरी विल स्टोर प्रीवियस स्टेट एंड फाइनली द आउटपुट ऑफ द कॉम्बिनेशन सर्किट विल बी विल बी अ एक्सटर्नल इनपुट एंड द प्रीवियस 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 आउटपुट फ्लिप फ्लॉप इट्स अ टू स्टेबल सर्किट कॉल्ड एज अ लैच यूज टू स्टोर सिंगल बिट इन्फॉर्मेशन इट्स हैविंग अ टू स्टेट बाय स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर आई कैन चेंज स्टेट बाय सिग्नल्स अप्लाई टू वन और मोर कंट्रोल इनपुट्स एंड विल हैव वन और टू आउटपुट्स इट्स अ बेसिक स्टोरेज एलिमेंट इन द सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट इट्स अ फंडामेंटल बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक ऑफ द डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम्स यूज इन कंप्यूटर्स कम्युनिकेशन एंड मे many of other systems so this is the sr flip flop the sr flip flop is derived using a nand gate and nand gate in terms of the not gate so we'll find out on the left hand side top and bottom these two uh, s and r inputs given to a nand gate in the form of not gate next two stages uh, of nand gates will have output q and q bar this s and uh, s and r the inputs for uh, input 0 0 the output uh, will not change so uh, for example if s is 0 r is 0 output will be uh, same as that of the uh, previous output so i can state here is the true table shown below so for s 0 r 0 the uh, output will be same as that of the last values next if s is equals to 1 r is equals to 0 the q will be 1 and q bar will be 0 this is called as a set state the third one the third combination when s is 0 or is 1 the output is uh, q 0 and q bar is 1 this is called as a reset state and the last one when s is equals to 1 or is equals to 1 when uh, both are 1 the output q and q bar will they will try to become one simultaneously which is not a valid state so this is the, the fourth one is a illegal state so these are the references i have taken thank you